Now, let's move on to another issue. The big issue is the EIE report. Economics Intelligence Report, our media year 2022. I know because I know that trend, and I'm a follow a year media discussion, or political discussion, since morning, basically, and then you bring a man. So, almost all the TV stations, almost all the radio stations, almost all the political year discussion, of course, we lands the media landscape, no, and discuss it about this. Now, people are asking a very critical question stakeholders, those who matters in terms of a year uh, opinion. Uh, discussions, you know, Omina sort me as your Muslim. Then send me an EIU for Eka. EIU for us, Omo can say 2024 about one, Omo do move here. And we said, Why did me a dink him? Now, Omo do a motor for Bo Edia Ba, Omunina so be our much say, Be a whole debate me a quack or toe, said the Nama AC at ten. Omas, I'm saying our baseline forecast is that ongoing public disaffection with slow pace of improvement in governance such as infrastructure development, job creation, and easing of corruption will trigger anti-incumbency factors and push the electorate to seek a change. I'm also going to say, I'm 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 going to say, a banya a waso, which is MPP government. So, Kobasa 2024, yeah, two aba. It means it will go against the incumbent. And into no, omo projection, omo projecting to say, O to aswa, was it as President Akufuado concludes his final term in 2024, the opposition is expected to face off with whoever the governing new patriotic party MPP will put forward as its new leader. In the wake of numerous challenges plaguing the government, including unemployment, an economic downturn, downturn, and corruption among others. EIU believe this developmental will fuel citizen sentiment against the ruling NPP administration. So was me I'm saying the eight-year term so the NPP people be can the four members be do or many. Now the unemployment, corruption. Sika semene ahoche o honwa ebe kwe tia the ruling party which is MPP. We EIU for report omene by omu projection eba 2024 election. Omu release that report in 2020. Now otu aswa, ahano ma semene omu say, they believe this situation was tilt the balance in the NDC's favor. Omu jidi se sa situation we say, abana transfu for eight years na ni ame mwae di si kasem ame bunu nye jumanya no en chama fo betu abedi a TMPP omo tu abedi a TMPP swa it means ebe kwa ma ye NDC but from their findings the international economic and political research consultancy group indicated that John Mahama is reportedly considering running again omo ni se de Mahama omo mpina da Mahama obe sa running as a flag bearer dem NDC bim or see in their latest report the agency expect the NDC to try to revitalize eight prospect with a fresh candidate. Now, so I'm here and I'm saying, the NDC for betting me any as our opportunity, so that now the JMUA, the NDC for betting me at the swaba dia. I'm here so I'm being a Franka Twini Fufro. No, I'm busy. So I'm not going to any. We are 2022 report. We are here. I have for the Bible, but young Shabibi, very interesting. Very interesting, pa. 2021, year two of year, when another Dunk in 7th January 2021, March, EIU4 AVLZ 2021 report. Now, sa report from the buyer, you know, there is no different. And so, I'm okay, you know, and so, you'll be at not 2022, the buyer, you know. And the man, I'm going to say, I'm going to play with our mind, and I'm going to politicians that we're going to add the agrana. This was published by graphiconline.com on 22nd March 2021 at 6:41 p.m. by graphic.com gh and I'm publish here. I'm publish here no. Sa report no buy no. Eya information minister Onambo Kojo Oponkroma a react or see the minister of information Kojo Oponkroma has downplayed projection made by the Economics Intelligence Unit EIU on their expectation that the Opposition National Democratic Congress and this will win the 2024 polls. Where 2021? Three months. Obia a suwa mampi nina nana kukufuadu in a year January 7. Ah, three months, less than three months. Ah, sabre kwa mampi nina appointment in you, you know. 
now EIU who is going to win 2024 election, whether they are serious or not. I bring a bit to me actually. Now, our report about 2021, Tia, I say, the next parliamentary and presidential elections are due in 2024. Under the constitutionally mandated term limit, President Akufuado cannot run for a third term. Mr. Mahama is reportedly considering whether to run again. But we expect the NDC to seek to revitalize its prospects with a fresh candidate. And to say, we are 2021. We are 2021 report. We are 2022. The same thing. And I'm NDC to try to revitalize, revitalize its prospects with a fresh candidate. The same phrase. And I'm going to report to remember 2022. So what is new? Uh, what is new? Say NDC for versus our media. So what is new about your EIU for report from about 2021 and about 2022? In any case, any and Komobi Ewaha. So the Economics Intelligence Unit, EIU report 2022. The question I know what is new? And then yes, from Kun Ewo Modi for 2021, the Omni Bay now for 2022. Yeah, what is new? Yes, I'm Krono Mokaye no, and one of Mobekaye. Research no more in a sense. So the question you'll be saying, if not Mahama, who else? Senya Mahama dia and ye wan bim ena eba. We ya si bisa ye bisa. E are you for say NDC for beti mi a win twenty twenty four election. Tio. O man can say NDC is winning. Hands down. O must say NDC can win. Hmm? Can. NDC can win. So there's possibility to say NDC cannot win. Now in this kigana hai ti se bi akwada kura ni mse. Eni ya kotwa baby ya. MPP ni NDC at a set of Rahia say. Wana ya ubutu. Se NDC are winia, MPP be winni. Se MPP are winia, NDC be winni. Sanu be enim. Two abe catches a 2024 election, NDC can win. A yadi will be enim because NDC has won election before. And it won't be a news. Se NDC be winni presidential election in 2024 or NDC will win 2024. So there's nothing new. Because we are there, all the smaller political parties, they work at the common in they cannot match these political parties. And as it stands, no individuals in this country, no new political party, they beat me up for me. Even MPP, NDC, for Kra, Kaboom, so much for me, another political party to rest the power. It will be difficult. Nobody can win. So it's between these two parties. So my culture say, uh, NDC can win 2024. I didn't say, I didn't know MPP, NDC, there's nothing new about it. Secondly, I almost say, so in this debate, we need election. I was so much changing my hand, but I'm for fresh candidate no more. Ede Eba. So the question is, say, how can you predict that uh, NDC is going to win 2024 without you knowing who is going to lead the party? See, I'm finding that Mahama so unkobi. We don't know who is going to lead NDC to 2024 election, and don't take Ghanaians for granted. As you say, Ghana for sebe and kwasi afo because say yeah, NDC into no sebe would would join. Kura ba bidina hano ma Ghana for beto amari. It doesn't work like that. And the EIU forcing the predatory election, Kase, NDC can win 2024 election, but not with the candidate Agala for the NDC for the door who is John Dramani Mahama. If not John Dramani Mahama, then who else? Or is it because I hear NDC in Tino? Say we would the adri with free. Eh? A crab is now holding national NDC at Tadia. Ghana for better man. Is that how you take Ghanaians for? No, I don't think they're going to fall through, but just because they're going to fall through the NDC. They're going to fall through, yes, but because they're going to fall through the NDC. They're going to fall through the candidates now, they're going to fall through the credibility. I don't know if they're going to fall through the NDC. In any case, the NDC says that the NDC falls through almost a cycle four before Friday. But they're going to fall through the NDC on whose record? And they're going to fall through the NDC. So the NDC says that they're going to fall through the NDC. They're going to fall through the NDC. Whose track record is the NDC? In the NDC, the same question, whose track record? Definitely, it's going to be hugely on the John Dramani Mahama record because Rollins do buy idea. I will have a chum Ghana for NDC for the natural be so among kind. Professor Mills do buy in 2009 to 2012. Ah, make a sense here. Because no be say Ghana for the including NDC for the Professor Mills achievement in record score. most of them cannot mention most of them. Now, do do not move back any now. So the Professor Mills here be on the John Dramani Mahama here. But who be said the John Dramani Mahama here ya? Obi abe timi abo nsa no e wo NDC communicated do abe timi aka. And to say John Dramani Mahama, why ne ba be di partner? Ni pa ni be di partner ni mo. Who track record of the kwako campaign? Na say Mahama achievement and ni ba ba campaign dia. E see then and penny say anyo mo da esene ru ano. 
And he said, Muhammad not Yasia, who can campaign on his achievement better than him? One of the best things is indeed, yes, I am here sad year we, I am here second interchange, I am here KTR market, I am here Rattray Park, I am TBC, I am here Lego Medical Hospital, Medical Center, I am here C Ridge, I am here C Bank of Ghana Hospital. And you know the two mini mamia, me to me, I think that Ghana for will not believe that person and vote for that person. But somebody that will come and say, so, oh, my name is Mahama, I am a party back. Mahama is C Ridge. Or you end this in it, Miss Me, end this in Motua Bamamia, Mekwa could see another rage. And you think that Ghanaians will believe that person than the Mahama will be in the same say, Yes, under my leadership, I build this hospital, I build this road, I build this air interchange, I build this market. If you give me the opportunity, I'm going to build this and I'm going to build that. It is that Ghanaians are so gullible. So we will not believe Mahama, but we believe somebody that will come and campaign on Mahama's achievement. I think that the EIU is playing intelligence with the air. Smart with our intelligence. Especially when he says the NPP, NDC can win. And NPP can win. The same way, Mr. Mitzma, I'm reporter about, yes, 2024. NPP can win. Does it make any difference? What difference would it make? So, I'm going to say, oh, I'm not going to say, sorry. I'm going to post about a couple of people. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm say, NPP can win 2024 election. Would that be a big news for us to be moving up and down, helter skater, trying? Would there be any news? No, because they said the MPP and I say NDC. In any case, maybe EIU for Munya way say MPP is determined to break the eight. And the president, Nanada Goku Fuado, has said, say, you hand over power to a year MPP candidate in 2024. And I'm Munya way in 2025, Munya way. Anyway. That didn't mean said Omo can a MPP form concorda. Omo bu MPP for them. Can NDC be rest assured? Say EIU for a year, a kunu, a year international group, Omo UK, Omo project, and Omo predict victory for NDC. For that matter, NDC can go to sleep. Hope he said 2024, the Ghanaians will go and vote for NDC. Doesn't matter who leads the party. As Omo can say, oh, the NDC needs fresh candidates. Nah. Uh, when you're fresh candidate, they are obeying me. I will need election now. The first question, Craig Bissan says, We need party in the poem, and then never cause to speak. MPP and this will be a name candidate on the book. We need candidate on the cause. They predated a win at the manor. We are critical thinking the common sense analysis. Me did this. I'm on top.